From being inspired from reading the book Holes in a mother-daughter book club, McCall became passionate about collecting shoes for the unshoed. My name is McCall Horton. I love to read, run, sing, act, and spend time with friends and family. I just turned 11 years old. It all started with our mother-daughter book club that we did with my friends from school. Every month, we read a book and then got together at a friend's house to discuss it. Each book has made a powerful impact on me. But there was one particular book that started it all. Two years ago, we read a book called The Cricket in Times Square about a cricket who lived in a matchbox at a newspaper stand. Our group was fortunate enough to fly to New York City to put ourselves into the shoes of the characters and visit the places we had read about. That trip was one I will never forget. While we had a lot of fun exploring exciting and beautiful places, another sight made the biggest impression on me. On the curb, I saw a homeless woman in thin clothes and she was crying. She only had a scrap of cloth as a blanket for warmth. I put money in her styrofoam cup, but felt it still wasn't enough. As we continued walking, I couldn't get her out of my mind. My mom and I decided to buy her something warm, but it was summertime and there was nothing in the stores. We finally bought the warmest thing we could find and rushed back to the curb. But sadly, she had already left. We searched and searched, but we couldn't find her. I will never forget that experience. When we returned to Miami, it was our turn to choose a book. I chose the book Coles by Louis Sackar. It was a story about a boy who was sent to a juvenile camp for stealing a pair of shoes from a homeless shelter. And in fact, he was homeless himself. The book was so emotional and inspirational. And even though the book was fiction, it still had quite an effect on me. The way the author brought up the character's feelings made me feel sorry for him, and it made me want to step into the story to help him. And since he was homeless, it reminded me of the lady in New York City. For our discussion activities, we had the idea of collecting shoes for the unshoed. We asked our book club friends to bring in shoes that they didn't need anymore, and as a result, we received 60 pairs of shoes. We were so surprised by how many shoes they brought in to see how much they cared too. That week, my mom and I took the shoes to the Miami Rescue Mission and toured the women and children's shelter. I saw some women who were standing outside waiting to come in. When I learned about what the rescue mission was doing, I was so amazed by it. I had heard about it before, but I had never been there in person. I learned that many people aren't as fortunate, and I was fascinated by the way the program was set up. The man who runs it used to be homeless himself. Their goal is to help people who need shoes, clothes, shelter, food, and a new chance. I've noticed that a lot of people don't appreciate what they have. 
they don't realize that they are extremely fortunate to have clothes to wear, food to eat, and a warm home to live in throughout their life. There are so many people out there who don't have anything. When you see a rescue mission or a homeless person, give a pair of shoes, clothes, food, anything. God blesses us with much, but it's not to keep all for ourselves, it's to give back. If you grow out of your shoes, but they'll still work for someone else, don't throw them out. Give them to someone in need. If you give, it will change someone's life. It's not hard. If each of us sees a person in need and treats them as a friend, it makes a difference in all of our lives. Giving shoes for the unshoed felt really good, and I have a huge feeling that I'm going to be doing this many more times in the future. I've learned throughout my life that no matter how young or small you are, no one can stop you from making a difference. So let's show the world how giving even a single, simple pair of shoes can make such a difference. Thank you.